guys. I'm here to share some notes from my practice corner. That was box E minor partita, just the beginning of it. And guess what? I love playing fast. But when I first started this piece, it sounded more like this. So what I tell my students is to practice, not just slowly, but practice in slow motion. So you're not just getting a chance for your fingers to catch up to your ear, but you're also going to practice with the inflection and the conviction behind the notes. So slow motion practice is important, number one. Number two, inflection in music. What is inflection? So if I were to tell you, I went to the store today. So I just said that sentence and you could hear the most important part of the sentence was the word store. I went to the store today. So in music, it's the same idea. You're sharing your idea with the music. I went to the store today. So there was some inflection in that. So with the violin, inflection comes with the bow. So I can add more pressure to the bow. And I can add more speed to the bow. Or take away speed from the bow. So slowing the bow down, adding pressure, lightening the pressure, or speeding the bow up is going to give you your inflection. I tell all my students, the fingers give you the notes, but the bow tells the story. So make sure when you're learning your music that you're not just learning the notes, but you get past the notes once you get them, because that's half of, half of the fight here is get those notes under your fingers and then play it with some conviction, with some inflection and if you're not sure where you want your inflection to go, try singing your part. I don't like hearing my own voice, but I make myself do it. I'm not a great singer, but I just make myself sing my part if I'm not sure, and it'll give me an idea of where the phrase should go. Now that brings me to another point. My third point is about scales and arpeggios. So every piece of music is basically made up of scales and arpeggios. So once you learn, and please learn all the scales and arpeggios you can, every single one possible, even the ones with the crazy sharps or the crazy flats, learn them because everything you're gonna play is basically built on a scale or an arpeggio and the combination of notes is going to tell you where the, where the note is leading. So if I have a whole step, that sounds nice. If I have a half step, you might wanna use some inflection a different way on those kinds of things. And you'll learn to listen for those whole steps and half steps when you practice your scales. So slow motion practice, inflection and conviction in your music and the importance of scales and arpeggios are all part of my practice every day. I use these tools and I'm just going to play a little bit of that Bach G minor sonata because it's one of my favorites.
Thanks guys. Have a great week. Keep practicing and I hope to see you soon. Shout out to Project Harmony West Boulevard. I miss your faces. Bye.